In this video, we will look at the Comprehensive Diagnostic Distortion Product OAE test. This is a DPZ test on the Otoport Advance or a DP12 frequency test on the Otoport DP Plus TE. This test protocol uses 12 frequency intervals between 1 and 8 kHz, spaced at 4 points per octave, and meets requirements for the 92588 CPT code. Pressing select at the DPOAE test screen brings us to the patient screen. Here we may choose to test a new patient or the previous patient by choosing same as last. These will be the most common choices. The other choices, history of last, find patient, and work list, can also be used to provide patient data. Work list is a very powerful tool for obtaining patient demographic data from a computer. Selecting a new patient brings up the Enter Details screen. The Otoport automatically provides a unique ID and Auto as the family name, allowing immediate testing. Patient data can also be entered from the keypad if required. Demographic data can also be scanned from this screen using the optional scanning features of the Otoport. Selecting test brings us to the DPOAE test selection screen. For this demonstration, we will select DPZ Low. The DP Zoom screen allows us to set the band limits and resolution for the DPZ test. Selecting Continue brings up the Check Fit screen. The Check Fit screen is used to assess the testing environment before starting the test. Check Fit shows ear canal size on the left, the stimuli level in the ear canal in the center, and on the right, the noise and noise reject level indicators. When check fit shows the proper stimulus level and sufficiently low noise, testing may begin. Start causes the DP stimulus to be calibrated in the ear canal and then the OAE response at each point is collected. When a signal to noise ratio of 6 dB is reached for any frequency, a check mark appears above that point. When a sufficient number of points have met the required criteria, the test is stopped by selecting End. The test can now be saved by choosing the appropriate ear with the left-right arrow keys and then selecting Save. Once saved, the test may be printed by selecting Print. If another test is to be performed on the same patient, Retest may be selected and the same demographic data will be used when the test is saved. Testing may be ended by selecting Finish, which returns us to the DPOAE test screen. 